What's up, friends? Welcome back to Battletech. We were gonna go do that four and a half star, three and a half star mission. We gotta wait for the 4P. I really want the 4P. Now the dragon's ready. We've got the Jagermeck. I'm taking that laser boat with. I can't wait for it. So, doctor's orders. As you're on your way to the med bay for an evaluation, you hear Medusa and Glitch shouting, and then a loud metallic crash. Commander! Medusa calls as you enter. How nice of you to join us! He rises halfway out of bed, trailing a tangling rope of tubes and wires. The doctor turns on you, flushed and angry. Commander, make warriors refuse to follow the recovery regimen. <laughs> Glitch lounges in a nearby chair. I come here running around the ship. You're hurt too. Uh, ooh, Argo, training module. Order Medusa to practice while he recovers. Oh, that's cool. Glitch, I'm up and about because I have a mercenary company to run. Unlike you, my job doesn't stop when I'm not in a mech. Turn to the doctor. I respect the challenges you face here, but clearly Medusa is going a little stir-crazy. Perhaps you could spend some time each day in the training modules? The doctor's tightened lips communicate displeasure, but she keeps these words to herself. Very well, Commander. We'll need him on his feet soon enough. Walking to the training room and back won't be any different than doing laps in the hallway. Medusa gains experience and Glitch gains experience. Nice. That work okay. order is complete, boss. Nice. Top notch work, if I may say so. Improved power conduits, done. Uh, structural reinforcement is next. Roger that, Commander. I'll get the crew moving. That's going to unlock just about everything else. And what does power systems do? It just, yeah, it just unlocks other stuff. It doesn't actually unlock anything itself. Right, I've got, I've got my 4P. Yeah! Laser mech. Technically, at some point, I need to get all the other uh, plus medium lasers that we have and strip them all out and have them all concentrated in the in the hunchy. Okay, brilliant mind. Let's see, recovery. Give me the salvage. So the Griffin this is fantastic damage. Let's leave the Shadow Hawk behind this time. It'll take out one to take out both hunchbacks. And of course the Yagamek. We're a little underweight. I mean the dragon also has pretty damn good as her rims. Yeah, this is fine. I think I want to take out the rest of the best here. It actually means glitch. This is going to be a hell of a mission. Behemoth. I need someone who has got the highest... Well, they need at least tech level, tactics level 6 be in the hunchbacks. Because then it'll give them the cold shot bonus. And that's going to be super important for us. Uh, the idea being that if you get the 4P with all 8 of its lasers to use... Uh, cold shot, precision strike, pretty much the same thing. Uh, with high accuracy, then you can have what, like eight medium lasers, that's 800 damage on a single component. There is very little that can survive that. I mean, even assault mechs have a hard time surviving that. Yeah, recovery in the Highlands, three and a half skulls, Griffin, Behemoth, Galaxy, Glitch, uh, Corona, Behemoth, Galaxy, Glitch, Griffin, Hunchback, Hunchback, Jagermeck. It looks like it might require more firepower. Fields and heavy mix. Fine. Our hunchbacks are going to be a little bit flimsy, but I mean, we've got no shortage of firepower, that's for sure. This is brave, though. I've actually never had... I've never, never actually done a mission before where you get warned before the time that, hey, you, you're underweight. Wanda, we perform a substantial amount of scientific research here in Mechdur. Directorate forces have been sabotaging our research stations, pitching our defenses thin. We've just learned that their ultimate target is a key scientist in our weapons development program. They've launched an assault that we believe is intended to capture her. We need you to reach the facility where she's... She's stationed and extract her to safety. Command interface initiated. 
This is an in and out mission. Locate the scientist and retrieve her. God, look at how beautiful those little hunchbacks look. Ready for action. Drone it, you're on point, love. That's all unsteady ground, I don't like that. I think that's going to be our approach vector over there, like through here. Mm -hmm. I copy. Don't need to tell me twice. Roger that. Hunchbacks all slow though. On the move. On my way. That is normal stable ground. Roll to that. Coordinates received. What's up, boss? Heading out. I hear ya. Uh-huh. Guess I'll just sit a spell. <laughs> Guess I'll just sit a spell. I do declare. On my way. Contact. Put on the coffee. We got company. Ah, uh, it's just a few vehicles. On my way. The 4P will make short work of these vehicles. Yes, Commander. Copy that. I read you, Commander. Moving out. All right. I'd say we give them what for. Look at the range. These are a bit far away. Yeah. Location confirmed. So what we got there? Demolisher. Two IC-20s. Okay, no hesitation. Full blast right to the front of it. The demolisher Commander. is terrifying. Orders. Acknowledged. God, it takes a lot of punishment. Orders. Shit. Gonna get a shot off. I can see it, but all my medium lasers are gonna be out of range. Ooh, glitch. Good to go. Get him. Get him, get him, get him. Take this. Oh, are you kidding me? It survived. Oh, it's a Shrek PPC carrier. I was so sure I could have destroyed the damn thing. Yes, Commander. Well, next turn. Oh, damn it. I'm taking internal damage. It's all just vehicles, that's all. Right. I would have expected mix. I mean, in a way, this is worse. Right here. Mm -hmm. You don't get much in the way of rewards from them, but. Actually, he just, he just needs uh, one more laser and then he's done. I'll take out the Shrek PPC carrier. Affirmative. If someone has split fire, then they can easily finish off that demolisher. Take this! Mm -hmm. Oh, catapult. 2K. Came out of nowhere. Missed everything there. The yes, Commander. You can split fire, can't you? She took oh one of those AC twenty shots right to the leg. Damn it. So just a few lasers ought to do for the demolisher. Engaging multiple targets. 
Does? Nice, double kill. What say we take it to him? Reporting vehicle destroyed. Oh my god, bloody dogs are barking. One second, friends, I gotta go yell at my dogs. Ah. Bloody dogs. Commander. The Indian dogs are going nuts because they saw someone outside. Like, oh my god, a person! Bark! Go crazy! Orders. Damn dogs. What is that? Oh, another demolisher. Firing everything I've got! Luckily that one's pretty far away. Yes, Commander. And I still can't get into any sort of visual range here. Affirmative. Ow. That was a bad one, that was. I mean, we're not going to be getting any salvage. From these trucks, that is. Good to go. I mean, maybe we can get improved weapons from them. Okay, let's show you guys the laser show. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight medium lasers. Copy that. And they all spread out across the armor. God damn it. Roger that. Well, another AC-20 shot is almost guaranteed to do for this. Yeah, but it's just about anywhere. It's done. So let's see. Lasers on the catapult. There you go. Multiple enemies locked in. It survived? It must have hit the single Reporting. piece oh, that it had. Which was above uh, what must have missed. Yo, look, hitting the side there. Oh, damn. Unlucky. So we need to do at least 50 damage. So let's say the three medium lasers. Well, that'll be harder. Finally, good lord. Target destroyed. What can I do for you? The glitch, you got some Daka Daka for us. They're all obscured shots, but it shouldn't matter. I mean, she's pretty accurate. Our most accurate gunner. You got that 95s all the way. 155, can I precision shot? I think it's worth it, yeah. Just to. Keep all the damage in one spot and to put her back in the turn order. Catapult, that is. Got it. Ooh, Did you see that? Machine gun Did ammo you see destroyed. It? Ammo explosion, kill. Why you don't keep ammo in your chest, friends? Location confirmed. On my way. Moving to position. Moving out. Now, where's the evac zone going to be, I wonder? I want to get an idea of where I've got to go before I position my mix. It'll be over here somewhere. Hold position, get scientist up to the mech. Okay, not quite. We'll put the scientist into the Jaeger mech. Moving out. You betcha! Ready for orders. Good 
Good to go. The asset is in hand, Commander. Good work. That was it? How odd. We only fought one mech there. I mean, to be fair, those vehicles were freaking terrifying. Those demolishers with full armor do a lot of damage. Uh, G model hunchback got its leg hurt but not destroyed. The one catapult piece. Here's what I'm talking about. Plus 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 medium laser. Plus 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 medium laser. Oh nice. A, a plus plus gyro. Okay, I'm still happy with that. Accuracy and crit. Then I'll go straight into the 4P. One piece away from having a, a, a K2 catapult. But then again, I'm not even that excited about the K2 catapult. I mean, I could run two PPCs, but I would need super rare plus damage PPCs to make it worth it. I mean, two PPCs is like 100 damage as opposed to 150 damage of the Jagermeck. And the Jagermeck has comparable uh, stability damage as well. Yeah, I would much, much rather have the Jagermeck than uh, the K2. I mean, the K2 is a bit tougher, but it overheats so much more. What else you got for us, contract-wise? A four skull base destruction. I think this is probably <laughs> this is too ambitious. Two skull battle part organization. Do I even bother? Yeah, fine. Give me that salvage. Our Griffin, our let's see, what's it? Our Dragon. Yeah, well, I don't need to take out my best and brightest for this one. We'll take out the Dragon, the Griffin. The, the OP Hunchback, absolutely. And who do I want to put in the Jagermeck? Bridge out, fine, why not? Up front. Silver dollar, I suppose. Yeah, got the most piloting. Just waiting for the moment where I can get that 4P behind another mech and have a precision strike right into its back. Be good. It's pirates. They should have like, you know, mechs at 50% of their repair status. They'll be fine. This is me underestimating them. Command interface initiated. Oh, we're we're mm, got, my uh, feet are all warm and toasty. <laughs> we got four female mech warriors, so Valkyrie Lance. I got a sensor trace. Okay, contacts right away. Vehicles, just some vehicles. Copy that. Yeah, I want to put Rajan with the Agamek up here at high ground. It's go time. Uh, let them come. We've got good, good evasion charges built up. Okay, well, it's mech, so why do I think it was vehicles? Weird. What's up, boss? Okay, yeah, what is this? Another cicada. Another sh a, a D Hawk shadow, uh, shadow hawk, though. D model shadow hawk. That is the Shadow I prefer, but I mean, nah. Honestly, I'm just gonna brace because they're all braced, so there's kind of no point. Commander. We have the favorable engagement position anyway, so. Commander, 
moving. Mm-hmm. Another hunchback. Another 4P model. Orders. See, so one initiative, three, they're all going to act ahead of us. Look at this, one initiative, one initiative. I just want to be able to sprint, get full cover, and three evasion charges. Good to go. Aye, aye. But John should be fine up here on the, on the ridge line. Yeah, that's... And forests. Move order confirmed. 20% to 80%, 50, 60s. Not softening up the Shadowhawk. Firing all weapons. Yes, Commander. Ah, so of course, it wasn't as I was reserving, our initiative was going further and further back. That cicada is close enough to punch in the dragon. I'm going to regret doing that. PPC, LRM, what was that? I'm showing minor damage. Yeah, some of the dollars getting a right hand side. Beat up quite hard. Order. I, I, I do need her though to be able to use. Vigilance. Yeah. Awaiting orders. 60s and 70s, a bunch of 75s. I think I take that instead. Firing a full salvo. Hit it, nice. Right here. Mm hmm. Hmm, yeah, I think... What's going on with the camera? Okay, the camera is just spazzing out. What the hell? Yes, Commander. Let's just focus on the Shadowhawk. I mean, I've, I'm I've started kicking its ass. I might as well finish it off. Mm-hmm, I'm going! Also, it's the only one that's not, like, entrenched. 50, 70, 65. Oh, now I'm just tearing you up. Ready for orders. Anyway, I can get morale. If I take some of those, turn lost. Standing by. See, I can't, taking this, does it expose my back to the 4P? It sh looks quite close. I don't think it will, though. Got it. Locked on for physical attack. Nice. Right leg destroyed. Oh, my God. These bloody dogs of mine. Oh, be right back. I do love my dogs, yes, but man, they can be annoying sometimes. Right, who's gonna get the laser show? If I can hit that Shadowhawk from the side, like that, could even finish it off. Hmm, or the Cicada, 60%. I think now the Cicada will, will be done for if I can hit it all in the chest. Locking on. Enemy down. Oh, she's Scottish. Enemy down. A griffin. Didn't expect that. Yeah. Nice. This should do quite a bit of damage. Do I want a precision strike or? Commander. Anyone's going to precision strike, it should be the hunchback. I 
can't move to a better spot, can I? Eighteen percent. Eighty fives. Right leg, right torso. Scored a critical hit. Watch my six. Oh, that's bad. Thankfully, most of them missed. You took a hard hit there. Commander. Commander. Oh, really? Yep. I think just one of the SRMs ought to take care of that Shadowhawk. Splitting my fire. Nice. Oh, I do got a shift though. Orders. How are we doing here for armor? Now the Griffin has got LRM, so if I run up close to it, I'm going to nullify most of its ability to, to deal damage. It's going to have to punch me, Roger. which I don't mind. The Dragon will usually win the uh, punching contest. Locking in all weapon systems. Nice. Pilot injured. Yes, Commander. Why only 65% as is, is long range and obstructed? I can't get closer and unobstructed. On the move. Targeting for an Alpha strike. Nice. Owie. Orders. Ooh, hang on, I should be. On Look at how heat efficient this thing is. This is like this third round in a row using a full alpha strike. Oh, baby. On target. This is a laser battle. One that we're winning. Hit there. Yeah. In medium lasers, SRMs, everything's out of range. Affirmative. 80s, 75, 75s. Ooh. Locking on and firing it all. Another hit hit. Nice. I'm guessing Two. you didn't like that, did you? Commander. Get him. I copy. Targeting oh, for hit, attack. Hit. hit destroyed. That's a free griffin for us. <laughs> awesome. That's a kill. Standing by. I love it when that happens. Counts as long range. Just get a bit closer. Copy that. And now the right torso destroyed. It's only got Take like that. one medium laser, so it's harmless. Well, comparatively harmless. That headshot with the with the melee right strike here. was so cool. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. Confirmed. Here goes everything. Dropped him. Successful. Well, that was easy. Good job, friends. Very good job.
But it's funny how like the previous mission was a three and a half skull, which was actually easier than this one that was a two skull. It speaks to the randomness that you're gonna encounter in this game quite quite a lot. Good XP for some of the lower level uh, friends that we have. I can take an entire griffin or I can get the shadow hawk. I think we should take that griffin. Loads of heat sinks, jump jets. That was a nice bit of luck. Do I need the griffin right now though? I don't know. I mean, the, the dragon has five more tons on it, and it's a bit more, you know, a bit more well armored. Yet the griffin actually feels better, better than the dragon. I think that's because when you're shooting with a dragon, it feels very underwhelming. But when you're punching with it, and they're using those small lasers, it's a maze. Good. Let's go to our true. That mech you wanted is back online. What we could do is we could uh, retire the Shadowhawk, the H model Shadowhawk. And turn this griffin into a missile boat. It's got more than enough missile slots. Got the same amount of weight. But where do its missile slots actually sit? Are they not arm mounted by any chance? They're all torso mounted, okay. Uh, movement compared to the Shadowhawk? The same. I mean, this current configuration is pretty damn good too. SRM-12, medium laser 3, but I don't really need it right now. We've got nice... I've got my two hunchbacks, got my dragon, and my wolverine, so... These wolver these griffins are in a bit of a no-man's land. I think for sure, let's, let's sell the Shadowhawk. Don't need it. Why can't you move these mechs around? That's something I've got to put in the next patch. Like, I want to be able to pull them around. Control click. No. Lift, drag. Alt. No. Uh, I'm not sure. I love my hunchbacks, though. Love my dragon. Uh, I've got one straight normal SRM-6 there on, on this dragon. Do I not have another improved SRM that I could chuck in there? I could technically squeeze out a little bit more weight. Because this SRM-4++ should have more damage than the straight SRM-6. That doesn't actually do much for me. Plus three to melee hit. Oh, that'll mean I'll have to have no SRMs. Okay, that, that's good. Can't have that. Five squares in melee. Six squares in melee. So when we go to Artru now, I think we're going to take out the dragon, the two hunchbacks, and the Agamek. Although this griffin does have two improved SRM-6s. Oh, just a maze. We can always leave the Jagermeck behind when we go to, to Artru. We can take out griffin, hunchback, hunchback, dragon. I think we do that. What's up, Commander? Right, got some level ups to hand out. Training complete. Waiting. Receiving you. Galaxy, nice. Uh, master tactician. Mix piloted by this mech warrior again. Plus one initiative and remove one bar of stability damage when reserving. I'm gonna make her a master tactician and a, a gunner, multi-targeter. Or master tactician and bulwark. 
Yeah, the increased initiative for something like an assault mech would be very nice. Mech warrior training complete. I do Waiting find for order. When I'm using the Highlander or whichever other training assault mech, confirmed, Commander. I'm here. They always have one initiative, which is awful. Okay, so to do so, dive up and get a breaching shot. Commander. Ridgehound. I think I need another melee attacking pilot. We've only got one other one who is me. Although silver, silver dollar is way closer than yes, that. Yes, Commander. I'd go for piloting and gunnery instead. Training complete. Waiting for orders. Silver dollar, you are going to be a melee attacker. Mech warrior training complete. Right, off to our true. 26 days to get there. Holy shit. That's too much though. No, fine. Let's head off to our true. Roger that, Commander. Course plotted. Uh, Jenna, ready? Might finally get the Wolverine back. Also, I want to see what weapons that Wolverine's carrying, and then I've got to decide. I've got to start ranking my, my brawling mix in terms of which are the best ones. I think the Dragon's got to be number one because it's the toughest. But then it's hard to say. I've got the financial report. Whether I would consider the, the 4P or the Griffin with the SRMs as the number two brawler. I'll have to look at the Wolverine. Wolverine is mostly a medium laser mech, so the 4P is just better than that. I mean, almost every mission I've ever done, I've always had at least one long range mech, especially when you consider how good this Jaeger mech is. But now you could even, hey boss, you could even make an argument for using the Dragon, the two Hunchbacks, and the Griffin with the SRMs. Yes, the uh, Jager mech is incredible. But the lasers of the 4P or the A20 on the other hunchback is very good too. Time travel by 20%, habitat pods. I want to keep going for recreation. I really like recreation. It needs hab pods. All right, I'll get the team on it right away. Katinka. The thing about the hunchbacks is, as much as I love them, they can be a bit flimsy. Man, they're so much fun to use. <laughs> Glass cannons. Happy accidents. Doris opens the morning briefing with a scowl on his face. We picked up new supplies a few weeks ago, and we're just now opening some of the crates of machine tools, and well, I can't believe this has happened again, but Yang practically explodes from his chair. We have more frozen triple F burger meat? You know how hard this stuff is to come by on the periphery? Dr. Murad sighs audibly. Please tell me that the refrigerators refrigeration was still operational. I don't want a repeat of last time. Don't worry, Doc. My, time will, my team will take care of the goods. What do you say, Commander? Burgers on the menu? Yeah, fine. Burgers on the menu. Yang's eager face makes it a little hard to strike a st harder to strike a stern tone. If I'm going to give you the shipment, but this time I don't want to find half your technicians in the medbay. I want those things cooked well done and then some. Later in the week, word spreads at the dinner that Yang threw for his mech techs, complete with a fresh batch of engine room rust gut. While not everyone got a chance to partake, the persistent smell of barbecue triple F has somewhat increased refit productivity, and your mech warriors are happy with the results. Morale and pick point for seven days. Nice. I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. 
that I'm most interested here in the Wolverine. How are we going to compare it to the other brawlers? It's got nice durability, four medium lasers. Sorry, M6, two small lasers is very nice. Its melee is not bad either. 1040. There's only 800 on the Hunchbacks. 1200. 1040 on the Griffin as well. Hmm. The firepower on the Griffin, though. Wonderful. Melee, it's got five squares of melee damage. Five as well for the Griffin. Honestly, I think the Wolverine's probably better than the Griffin. One, two, three, four medium lasers, one is, well, the SRM's do more damage, but the Wolverine, this one's better at punching if it has to. 1,200, so only 160 more armor. It's not that much better than the dragon. <coughs> I think let's strip up the improved small lasers and chuck them on the dragon. Really, I've only got one. All right. If I lose a heat sink, I can always back in a flamer. Or we just give it some more beef. There you go. Full armor. One small laser. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. So that's going to take its armor even more than the Griffin has. If it wasn't for those improved SRMs, the Wolverine, Wolverine would be better, but the Griffin is just clearly better. Because of the damage of those SRMs. There's plus accuracy, that's crit, and that's plus accuracy. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have both of them with accuracy, the plus one accuracy on the arm and the plus three accuracy in the chin. Logged and noted. Shouldn't be too hard. Hmm, <laughs> nice. On it. I'll let you know. Uh, when I can't that's decide done. who to take out on the archery mission. Oh, I think I think both hunchbacks. And we're gonna be doing a lot of squashing of vehicles. That work order so, you uh, submitted is complete. The, Dragon absolutely has to go because it can move so fast and squash, squash max. Okay, friends, good little episode that. Some easy missions, but it's been a lot of fun using my beloved 4P. When we come back, we'll head off to Archu. Should be fun.